In this video, I am going to teach you how to create a new project in your Visual Studio Code. So this is quite simple and the first thing that you need to do is to open your Visual Studio Code in your device, just like so. And then once you are on this page, all you need to do is to open a folder and if you can't see this section of your screen, what you need to do is to click onto this file explorer icon. It's situated on the upper left corner of your screen and then hit open folder. And you can also do it on this part of your screen on the center part. You'll have these options. So you have new file, open file, open folder. So just hit this open folder section. It basically does the same. So you can also go to the file section and under that you should be able to see the open file option also. So hit open file. And then the file that we are going to select is not yet existing. So what we are going to do is to create that in our desktop. So I'm just going to right click onto this one and create new folder. Just like so, I'm just going to name it as sample project. And then there you go, select that as the folder. And then now all you need to do is to create the files under that project. So as you can see, it is Still empty so again you only need to do is to create a new file for it and just going with the index js and hit enter so then you'll be able to or you have created a javascript or java file on your project so now as you can see you already have here again so let us try to open that folder in a local file so i'm just going Go back into my desktop, open that file, and you should be able to see that index file in that project. So I'm just going to go back to the Visual Studio Code and try to open a new terminal here in the new project. And by the way, you can just close the welcome page. So you have here the project or the code. So I'm just going with, or I'm going to type in PWD, hit enter, and as you can see, the path of it is correct it is under the sim sample project that we have created earlier so that's basically it you can now start coding so then i hope this video helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell button thank you so much for watching and have a great day